Ensuring the MX box is turned off, plug your card into the SD slot on the side. Next, whilst holding the power cable, insert your tool into the AV hole and push down till you feel a little button click. Then, insert the power cable, keeping your finger pressed down on the tool. Do this until you see the screen display the following Android figure, with the progress bar below it. After a few minutes, the install will finish and you'll be left with the reboot screen. Select Reboot Now, which is the default selection at the top of the screen. The machine will reboot and you'll be greeted with the Droid Player splash screen startup logo and the XBMC Media Center logo. This will then load up the MBOX logo, which will sit there for about 40 or 50 seconds. You'll now be confronted by the welcome screen. If you just click next for the language and the welcome and get onto the network screen, using the selections above you can choose whether you want an ethernet cable or you want to connect to a Wi-Fi network. When you select the Wi-Fi option, you'll have some dialogue come up that uh, prompts you to add your, uh, your username and password. Then click next and then click finish. This next screen asks how you want to browse your Android device. Choose 3D Launcher and then scroll down and choose Always. So this brings up the Android home screen. Now you'll need to install a fresh copy of XBMC and the XBMC config folder. You should see a link appear on your YouTube screen which will show you how to do this.